Alrighty, so let us continue to search for Juggernog. I think through here maybe I will find something. Let's go down here. We haven't been down here yet, I don't think. I've got no idea what's going on. What pisses me off is the idea that I will get stuck and have to kill the last zombie. And that is very frustrating, because then that means I have to quickly abandon all plans to get Juggernog and just get back down to the train area before I have a serious problem on my hands. And I'm not a fan of that. But anyway, um... I really don't think there's anything else for us to be doing up there, to be honest with you. There are some more doors that we have to open down by the shipwreck area, so we'll probably go and open those. I'm fine spending 750 points there. And I think... Oh, no. Oh, okay, so the... Alright, okay. And the box is over in that direction, apparently. But it seems that the Pack-A-Punch machine does not just spawn there. Okay, that's good to know, I suppose. It's probably a good thing that it spawns every round then, because that is kind of strange. But anyway, uh, hopefully I can find this this crap again. I need to go... Is this as far downstairs as I can go? No, it's not. We want to go through here. And then that is our access off here. I'm pretty sure that if I wanted to get that Pack-A-Punch right now, I would miss it. Because it has been a long time since it spawned. Yeah, I just missed it there, so... That would be a shame if I was trying to get that. Now... I, it's funny, even now I cannot remember where Juggernog is. I just have no clue. Should I spin the box? Is it necessary for me to do that? Let's spin it a little bit. Maybe once. I say once, but I'm probably going to want to spin it again. Well, that was a very good thing, because the reason why I wanted to spin that box was, I mean, in my mind I was thinking, oh yeah, well, the guns that I have currently are perfectly fine, but... If I could get a gun that's really good, then it would be worth it, and that's exactly what I got. I mean, yeah, it creates crawlers, but for round seven, I mean, this is not a bad gun at all. Let's go down here, shall we? And perhaps, just perhaps, kill George. I don't know if I can manage it, but I will do my best. Um, that's not beneficial, me doing that. Um, I don't know how great the ray gun is for... Oh, Jesus. No. That was not cool. At least we didn't have Juggernaut. That's a good thing, because we would have just lost that and lost points in addition to that. That's not a huge issue, guys. Um, that's very stupid, most definitely, but not the end of us. I did not know where that zombie was, but whatever. Um, <laughs> of course, these zombies are running at me already, which is really encouraging. But whatever. We will look for Juggernog next round if I could possibly survive that long. I will use the AK-74U as opposed to the ray gun for actually mowing down the zombies simply because I want more points. Uh, the more points I can get, the higher the chance of getting Juggernog in the next round because, you know, if I do need to open more doors, I will still have points left to buy Juggernog. That is the idea. I would, I would like such a thing to occur. Shut up, George. Anyway, so, I don't think that's related to George, though. I think that's just the, uh, the, the but I'm not trying, I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look at the lighthouse to see where it's pointing. I lied, I looked, and apparently it's in that other direction, kind of near where I believe Speed Collar is. Why do you have to be right there, George? Honestly, that could have been my death, just because George was wandering right there. It's not good. Alright, let's go start shooting these zombies before I have a serious problem on my hands. That was not a very successful shot there. What was that? Is that? I think that's Carpenter. That's the last thing I bloody need right now. Imagine Carpenter being helpful. That's it. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I don't know where that zombie came from, but he snuck up on me. This is just not good. I mean, this is not... It's not difficult for me to survive with Juggernog, but without... Hold on, I'm just going to readjust my mic slightly here, because I think it's a little bit off. I apologise if you're confused by that. Alright, let's keep going. What the fuck? Okay. God, that's tight as fuck, man. Alright. And no, I don't need to hear your... Oh, that's what she said. I don't... I don't care about that shit. Anyway. 
Um, let's try and not die here. I mean, it's been very close. I mean, it's funny to think that getting hit once means, oh, I'm almost dead. I mean, that's just a weird thought. I mean, really. Two shots and you're down is just bullshit, but whatever. Um, I'm, look, even keeping one zombie alive is enough to get me killed, so I don't think I'm going to keep multiple zombies alive. Oh, maybe I can. Actually, no, it's too early in the rounds to create a crawler, so I won't do that. Let us just return to areas around here and hopefully get Juggernaut. I don't need to get stuck by these zombies. That would not be good. Okay, I think I need to kill one of them, because this is just not good. Okay, fortunately, I didn't kill both of them there. Why do you have to be running? Why do you have to do... I do not need this. It's hard enough already trying to find bloody Juggernaut. I don't need you running after me. That is just so stupid. I don't need that. All right. Oh, that's better. Um, pff, let's go down here. We have been down here before. In fact, not only have we been down here before, that's where we just came from, so let's bloody go back around. This is just so annoying and stressful. Or maybe it's through here. PM63. I think it might be through here, guys. I actually have a feeling that it's through here. It has to be. I can't be making this up. If I can just get it, here it is. Cool. Once I drink this, I don't have to worry about dying anymore. Cool. So, <laughs> we finally survived, guys. Good on us. Let us return to Quick Revive. No, that's not where we want to go. Let us return to Quick Revive. And get that, so we make sure that we don't die again. Because that would be a sad thing to happen. Whoa, George, chill out. Alright. So, what else do we want to be doing right now? I think... PhD Flopper is not ideal. I mean, I know you can dive from there and do a flop, which is what you refer to the... Actually, I'm not going to go there. There's another door down there. I'll keep that in mind. But um, I'm not going to use that just yet. But anyway, you can use that as an effective PhD flopper area, but I don't want to piss off George, and that is going to do a l <laughs> that's going to do a lot more than piss off George. Actually, there's another area just down there. What I'm, what's wrong with me? I should have been going down there. Well, at least I remember that now. I remember a few directions for us to be going, which is good. Um, but anyway, it's very weird that, I mean. Moon and this map, it's interesting because these maps have given me so many problems in the past, yet when I come on here and play them for the first time in, like, a year and a half to two years, I actually do reasonably well, and that's a good thing. I'm glad because that saves me some headache of going through this crap and not having a good time. So it's funny how I come in here expecting to have a bad time, but then in the end actually enjoy myself. Anyway, let's just have a peek down here. Oh, we have been down here. Okay, that's where PhD Flopper is. I don't really think we want PhD Flopper. I don't think that there's a real benefit to it for us at this time. So we'll probably not use it. Anyway, I don't think we're going to get dead shot either because that's just not purposeful. Um, although, this is the first map that Deadshot appeared on, I believe if I can remember that correctly. I don't think it appeared on Shangri-La. And the reason why I th I considered that is because I don't really remember too much about Shangri-La, but I think Stamina Up first appeared on Shangri-La. I am almost positive that Deadshot first appeared on this map. So, yeah, in that way, perhaps it, a while ago it would have been a cool idea to go and get Deadshot, but not anymore. It's not a good perk, really. It's just, I mean, why? For what purpose would I want that? I mean, I guess... I think if you hip fire, it automatically hits the head. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And I guess that would be good for ones. See, look at that. That's ridiculous. Okay, I need to go this way, otherwise I'm actually going to die, guys. I don't know how that managed to happen. Um, this isn't good. Open that door. Very fortunate for us that we actually had enough points to open that door. This is getting really crazy, isn't it? How do I... Okay, let's be very careful here, because otherwise I'm going to have a serious problem. If I can get back down there, I knew a zombie would make it back. If we can make it back down into here, we're okay. That was quite an adventure. Um, yeah, that kind of happened out of nowhere. That's the last time I go and try and link the zombies up here. That's just not good. I'll keep that in mind, because... Of, oh, look at these. Anyway, um... 
Yeah, of course, there are a lot of things that you remember through experience of going through this. You know, the do's and don'ts. But I can't remember them anymore, so I just go ahead and do things that are probably a bad idea. But, you know, because I can't remember why they're a bad idea, I just do them anyway, so... Yeah, anyway. Anyway, what's down there? We have a nuke, which I may utilise. What the hell was that? Who am I playing? Oh, that's right, these are unique characters in this map. These are from, like, the story of the map. I think we don't have many zombies left, so I'll go and get this nuke for the sake of points, and then I will move on to the... Ooh, that's double points, cool. I'll save that for the next round. So I only have the ray gun. Oh no, I can buy ammo here, what am I doing? Okay. So, wait until we get this double points. Keep George away from the damn thing, because he's a bloody bastard. I still wouldn't call this a okay, I'll just get it now. I'll probably end up only being able to use it on the first, on the first spray with the ray gun, which is okay. Anyway, so yeah, I mean, I just can't really remember what the best thing for us to be doing with getting these zombies together is anymore. I just can't remember it. I can't remember what I used to do because it's been so long since I used to play this map. I mean, keep in mind. I think I played this map for a few months when, around the time when it came out. I didn't even end up using that double points there, which is a shame. But yeah, I played it for a few months, kind of near when it first came out, and then I didn't really touch it again because I disliked it quite a lot. So it's been a long time since I've actually done this. I mean, I was a very different player when I last came through here, which is a funny thought. Now I just don't really... Oh, I'll kill these guys. Actually, it would be cool to keep those crawlers, simply because I want to be able to have a non-running zombie after me when I'm just exploring through the map. So, yeah, I'll keep those crawlers. I think it is possible for crawlers to just die at some point, but it's okay for the most part. I think maybe that's primarily World at War where that happens. But yeah, you could see that splash damage from the ray gun. I mean, if you think it's bad here, it's fucking awful in World at War, and I've said that a thousand times already, but yeah, it is true. I don't think we can create crawlers as long as we attack them on the upper body with this thing. Oh look, pack a punch just appeared over there. I'm well, actually I was about to say I'm almost tempted to go and pack a punch the ray gun, but I do not have enough points to do that, and it's not even worth it to be honest at this point. Oh look, looky here. All right, so what I'll do is I'll take this death machine and go and piss off George, and because the crawler is going to be far away, well he's not actually far away, but let's just go through here. He's going to catch up to us, almost. Okay, so... What I'm doing here is just, like, trying to kill him. Because I really want to. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. I'll try with the ray gun. Uh-oh. I accidentally started the round because the crawler decided to crawl in there, which isn't cool. I ended up using the ray gun for that round unintentionally. I actually wanted to use the AK-74U for that. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know if the ray gun works on him very well. I was actually a little bit sceptical about that with the Cosmonauts as well. I was feeling that the ray gun wasn't doing as much as it should have been with the Cosmonauts, so I'm thinking it probably doesn't have that much effectiveness with those kinds of enemies. It's very weird, but anyway. I think we're going to get a few zombies coming through there. And th through there, I mean, you know, where we started the round. But yeah, we're at round 11 now, cool. We managed to survive, everyone. But anyway, there's a lot more that we have to do still. In terms of perks and getting good guns and all of that. That's a little bit dodgy. That's more than a little bit dodgy. Um, yeah, I don't know, I can't really remember the best things to do for this train, but... I don't know. Don't blame me, it's been a long time. Okay, I knew that there were some zombies coming to the side there, so I didn't want to start shooting them. This is a good spot here. This this is like, oh, imagine if George wasn't here. Well, that that makes no difference because I'm fucking dead. Um, okay, so what does that mean? That means not good things because we're probably going to die because this is the worst thing. They all They all just disappear and then they come back in a big wave and I don't know where they go. I don't know where they've come from. Okay, cool. No, not cool. Not cool at all. See, I don't know how to respond to that. I don't know where these zombies come from. Whoa, what the fuck? I don't even know what was going on there. 
I need to be so damn careful here. This is just ridiculous. I'll try and get Juggernog again. That's going to be my priority. If I can possibly remember where that is. I think I can, but... If I could remember, that would be helpful. I'm just going to not kill any of these zombies because I don't want any more to spawn. That would be a bad thing. But yeah. Now, this could get ugly. I want to keep them kind of in a big group. And I'm pretty sure... Can... Is it... Okay, I didn't think we used all of Quick Revive. That would have been a shock if we did. But anyway. Look at all of these guys. They're hungry. I think they're going to get slowed down by that as well. And by that, I mean the ice lake. God, I need a drink right now. I will never learn to get a beverage when I'm doing this, will I? I will never learn. Actually, well, not intent, not intended on my part. But at least we didn't kill that zombie. We turned him into a crawler instead. Now, I need to make sure that I remember where I'm going here. Because otherwise, I'm going to die. I think it's around here. I'm retracing my steps from previously. Whoa. Whoa, not good. Not good, guys. I need to stay back here. Thank God I've got the ray gunner. Even even the ray gun is not helping me. That is just a sad situation, that. Carpenter, whatever. Um, that, that was crazy. I don't even know what the fuck that just was there. That was ridiculous. Um... I don't know where Juggernog is, everyone. I haven't a clue. I have forgotten. And that's not a good thing. I just nuke. I don't care. I don't care. Nuke it. Where is Juggernog? I need to remember. I, I don't want to start a new round here. Oh, I've just done it. Oh, no. Juggernog is through here. Okay, I found Juggernog. Okay, cool. So let's go to the next area now. Let's do it. Come on, hurry. Where do I... I think I know where to go. Okay, come on. Yep. That's where I want to be. I have recovered, everyone. I've done it. Okay. That... That was not good. That was not a good situation at all. And that happened because I was being an idiot, I think. Most likely. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, we managed to find Juggernog there. Thank God for the ray gun. We would have probably died there if we didn't have the ray gun. So, yeah. Anyway, and we still have a reasonable number of points. I mean, it's not like we're at zero points after all of that crap, so... Yeah, that's good, I suppose. I do need to be quite careful here. I mean, I know I said that I wouldn't do this here, bringing the zombies around through here, and the reason why is because, as you can see, they can come through that door and give me a few problems, but I don't know where else to get them together. I really don't. I can't think of where would be where a better spot would be. I mean, I don't know. It is pretty hectic, this train, though, I have to say. Can you just stop hitting me constantly? It's not very nice. Alright. I mean, if I could possibly tap into my previous knowledge of this train, it would help. But anyway. Ah! Don't get mad at me, Georgie. But yeah, this is the kind of train where I think you can just constantly shoot and you just allow the zombies to rejoin as time goes on. It's a pretty chilled out train area if you can possibly get the right technique, which is obviously a key factor in all of this, and I just can't really recall the best technique. I'll kill you for fun. No, I didn't even end up killing him, so yeah, what was I trying to do? The answer is kill him, but I didn't succeed, of course. Um... Just be careful. Whoa! I totally misjudged that. I totally misjudged that map. That geography. I thought I had much more room to move there. That's why I moved in a strange direction. Um, fortunately, the zombie spawns allowed me to move out of that. That was not a good situation at all. Yeah, my memory of this is really bad. Of course, I mean, I had no... Uh, keep in mind, I haven't done this for a long time. I'm giving Killing George another try, by the way. Oh, I should have... Did I create a core? I can't even remember. Yeah, we've just started a new round. What am I doing? This is just not good. Okay, I'm... Look, I'm literally risking everything to kill George. Why? Because I'm an idiot, apparently. Whoa, well, that's not good. This is not good. Can you please get off the damn... thing? And by thing, I mean that. 
That was not good. Okay, so I need to get him in this ice lake now before the round starts, because that's not good. Jesus. Everything that I'm doing right now is just fucking counterproductive. It really is. It's not conducive to my survival at all. It's just not at all. And I'm upset about this. Jesus. Okay. Now, once again, I am starting the round up here. This is just not a good spot for me to start the round, I know. But I don't know where else I can do it. Because I feel that no matter where I do it, there's going to be risks. And that's just the nature of this train, I think. Perhaps. I think once you've got all the zombies together, it's okay. But, yeah, I just need to keep in mind everything. All factors, like where the rocks are positioned and where they can block me. Where they can block me. Let's repeat that sentence with proper English. Um, anyway, I don't know, whatever. Kill these guys. Kind of aiming for the head a little bit on these guys, simply because I want to kill them kind of quickly. I have a lot of points right now, I just realised. That's because I haven't gone and bought anything in a long time. That zombie was just sliding down the hill there, that was quite entertaining. I do need to try and make sure that I'm watching where I'm going here, because otherwise I'm going to have some problems. Okay, so here I am using that little loop there. I misjudged the size of that loop previously, that's why I almost had a serious problem there. Well, that's not good. Yeah, these zombies are crazy how they spawn. Then They don't really spawn in nice patterns, do they, in this area, but whatever. It's a good train either way. Once you get it together, I mean, it's it's pretty decent. But it does have a few tricks to it. Those rocks are very off-putting.